ride to Mora Mora. Uh, immediately just out of Hillsville in Victoria. Deeper into the forest. Amazing. And here's the front gate, or the back gate actually, to Mora Mora. We just throw in the code here. Wouldn't you like to know what awaits us? Now, uh, Mora Mora is uh, actually pretty quite famous for being one of the very healthy um, communities around Australia. So uh, it's, it's uh, coming up 50 years old now, and um, I had no idea it was on top of this mountain and absolutely beautiful. There's there's a real pride around here. It's a beautiful a beautiful place and really well looked after. And and uh, yeah, we'll show you more. This is one of the houses. Um, the housing here is in, are in clusters, so clusters of five or six or so houses, um, and there's about six clusters. Uh, that's my setup there. More about that later. And yeah, it's just beautiful. What a great forest and beautiful place. So these are some of the clusters. Uh, you could be lucky enough to live in Wombat Hollow. And here is the garden. It's uh, very expansive. Fully fenced, keep the deer and the bunnies and the wombats out. And here is Insum, and Insum is a, um, a non-member resident at the moment. Been yeah. here about a year. And tell me about this garden. It's not just a garden, is it? It's yeah, that... we call, um, what we say, this is garden to guts. Garden to guts. <laughs> <laughs> so you call it social gardening. Social gardening, yeah. Yeah, mm. so it's not, or not, not just about the garden, it's about people people and coming in and having yeah. this as a centre. Yeah, for the community. So everyone can contribute, everyone can get benefit from mm. being out here. And then the knowledge can be shared. And also while we are here, and then connection from us to the nature is happening. So that's the our Beautiful. sort of uh, motivation here. Beautiful. Mm. Thank you very much, okay. that's great. <laughs> Uh, this is incredible, uh, tilt, tracking, solar, um, and uh, the view over here is amazing, you can actually see Melbourne from here. And this is one of the things they use for their solar, is electric vehicle charging. So uh, I think there's six bays or something here. From the old to the new. And even a fancy new fast charger, which they love. So here's another cluster. That's a straw bale house there. And we have down here is a tiny house. And um, Victoria have changed their rules and their laws. So it's much easier to put a tiny house here now. So come on up. So more houses there in the cluster. Another one here. Electric car. Even Buddha gets to work here. <laughs> and this is called the Lodge. It's a share house or shared space. Looks to be quite an old building. Beautiful. Mora Mora Cooperative Community humbly acknowledges our local Indigenous community. This is the stage where events are held. They have festivals here as well. And every Every cluster has a bunker, fire. Um, you know, taking care of their own people and you know, they don't have to have these things, but uh, this is really cool that they do. Ancient totem. <laughs> this is a Greenhouse in the embedded in the ground and behind it's a beautiful mud brick home. That's another cluster. These magnificent trees here. Uh, this is not a big one for all stretch of the imagination, but wow. Well, it's a great place. Um, it's a um, it's a great place to. Um, Bring our family up. We um, have two um, young boys that have grown up here. They're now 13 and 9. Um, it's a wonderful place for children to, um, to to grow up, and there's lots of other kids to play with. We love um, Maramara. Yeah. Awesome, Luke. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. One of the special things about Maramara is the, the depth, depth of relationships you, you form with people. You know, you're 
working with them, playing with them, working out things about decisions and how to run the place. Um, but lots of play. Mm. <laughs> lots of good social time. In a, in a very beautiful setting. Yeah. It's an incredible mountain top uh, community. Lots of um, forests all around. Some great pasture land where we've got some animals. Um, yeah, it's pretty special. Uh, big dam, so we get some good swimming in in summer. Mm. We get some big fires going in winter. <laughs> it's good size, stable, the good kind of structures and um, guidelines that we work with that aren't too rigid, but you know, give everyone enough of a, a good sense of, of where the boundaries are and, and what needs to be kind of worked out together. Yeah. So yeah, we welcome people to come and check it out um, yeah, on the first on Sunday of the month. You can come up for um, a tour and um, an afternoon tea and a kind of Q&A session. Or we'll come, come and yeah. work with us for the day, join yeah. us for lunch and really get amongst things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's been a great time here at, uh, at Mora Mora and I would certainly recommend if anybody's looking for community, um, especially so close to Melbourne, um, come and check it out. It's it is amazing. It's uh, it is a bit of a process to get in, um, but that actually what makes a really good community too. Uh, make sure that everybody's settled and, and happy about this. And um, it's yeah, come bring your tiny house up. You know, buy the house. There's a couple of houses here for sale. Come and do it. It's it's really uh, it's really great. And uh, I hope uh, I hope to see you around. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.